think so I've got some half inch uh, wrench sockets or ratchet sockets if you'd rather uh, a bunch of what are they they are quarter inch half inch the one in the middle of that F five eighths is it something like that um, sockets and appropriate debris also got a half inch one of those and somewhere here we go uh, an impact wrench just to try and get some of these bolts off if they're a bit stiff so I'm hoping I'll be able to get it apart the one thing I've just realized I've forgotten is my thread lock which is sitting on the desk at home which is really irritating because I can't put it back together without that so I'm gonna have to go and get that um, but I'm gonna try and do a bit of disassembly first see how we get on either 19 or 17 so I've got both both sockets here now I'm about to stick my head ugh, way down in the locker over here and just measure them up and get make sure I've got the right size tooling before I go any further there's our problem. Put a torch down there so you can see it. I need to undo these nuts on that uh, flange plate um, in order to get that off. And there should be a nut inside there that screws onto the end of the shaft. The shaft will pull back in because it's fallen back. Um, but you can see there's a pool of oil or something just caught underneath it. I want to clean that out first get that sorted out then I need to somehow lock up this because it just rotates freely uh, and obviously I can't undo a nut with it rotating freely so I need to see it find out some way of jamming that up um, and then we'll have a go at undoing those nuts uh, easier said than done but let's get on with it okay so my kit, kit for cleaning this up is quite simple bunch of kitchen roll and a bin bag so I mop I dab I chuck it in the bin bag okay I've uh, had a clean out and as you can see there the there's uh, it's, it's mucky on the bottom but I've got rid of the fluid that was in there seemed to be mainly water with just some oil floating on the top and I've recovered the woodruff key which had dropped down in there so that's good news so now it's a question of uh, trying to unbolt it all so we'll have a go at that see this but uh, bugger. so I've had a go at this one here got that loose see it's got a spring washer behind it to stop it coming undoing through vibration which is great um, I've managed to lock it up by <laughs> jamming a screwdriver in there just to stop it rotating so hopefully it's not going to take me terribly long to get this off and then we can have a look that's an interesting hole there. Not sure what that's for. Hmm. I've got these loosened. You see that flange is starting to fall off as I remove the nut. Spring washer. Just put that up. Out of the way. No. Spring washer. piece should come off and yes wow, this. Get out. <laughs> there and there inside is a nut and washer for this so that's the nut we actually need to lock tight onto the end of the shaft and then reattach this so that's as far as I can go until I get me locked tight Okay, I've been home and I've retrieved my thread lock and some uh, alcohol pads to clean the threads up before I apply it. So, I need to do two things. I need to clean the inside th thread of this nut and I need to clean the thread on the shaft uh, and then reassemble a bit. So. We open the alcohol pad, we get our nut, we 
go around. Cleaning the inside of the thread as we can. Lock the camera as best as I can. Now this is a thread that also needs to be nice and clean for lock tight. So okay, I'm gonna start with some uh, grease on the uh, woodruff key and the flange where the shaft is going to go so if I just point that in that direction take the lid off this a moment so here's my woodruff key and here's my flange and I just want to lubricate this inner piece here so I'll take a little bit of grease and just work it round where the shaft's going to sit in. Don't need a huge amount, but so that's done there. And I'll just put a tiny little bit on the woodruff key just to help help it to sit properly. So a little bit on the woodruff key. And now we will attempt some reassembly. Rotate this shaft so that the slot for the woodruff key is at the top, and I just put the woodruff key in there. Now I take this and slide it over the shaft. Mm. Wow, not my camera. That's kind of as far as it wants to go without being screwed in. So, <sighs> brilliant. Whoa, <laughs> just keep the camera over there. Never mind, move that out of the way can point you in the right direction so you can see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to put the thread lock. So what I've got is I've got a washer that has to go on the shaft and on she goes. And I've also got this is going to be fucking difficult to do up. I haven't got an extension bar for my 5.8 now I need to slide, wow, right in. Yeah, I simply don't, fuck it, I simply don't have the depth to reach in. Oh, I need an extension bar, which, ah, sorry, I haven't got it with me. Bollocks, I'll have to come back and, another time. I'll take my shaft at Woodruff Key. Oh. Before we use the thread lock, let's try and assemble it and then unscrew it and see how far we can go in. Okay, so here's my nut. Okay, it's just occurred to me the one thing I do have is my impact driver 
and these half inch sockets so this has a little bit more depth and reach on it and I think by using the impact driver we should be able to get in the end here's hoping and we have oops, a couple of 3 8 extension bars which will work with the 3 8 socket set and some longer reach sockets I believe this one's uh, the 19 that we're going to need that might do the job that might make my life a lot everything up last time now I need to put a little bit of thread lock on the thread there a little bit on the inside of the nut and then I can put my coupling plate in place get the nut on finger tight and then just have a quick go at nipping it up I'm not going to be able to do much um, because there's no way of securing the prop, prop shaft it's just going to turn but that should be okay the thread lock should do it and stop that nut coming undone and we should be in good shape okay I have my nut and my thread lock and a little tiny blob of thread lock into the threads there that will most definitely do it and I will drop this nut into there ready to go and that in turn is going to end up in there with me rotating it so she fits nicely I believe we'll give that a go. Just drop a little bit of thread lock along that thread. Now we will line up and put the shaft over, the washer in place, and now the nut on. Now I'm going to need to, to attempt to do with one hand what I need five for. She's on pretty snug and she's thread locked. I'm standing on my head right now. God damn. Now this one pulls backwards and aligns with the drive plate, I hope. Keep the torch over. This ratchet out of the way. Line. A dry plate. Okay, and that slides in. Phew. Now I have this torch a bit better, I wonder. Make it there. I have four washers and nylock nuts can just
Driver back. Come around. Okay, I need to work on that, but you get the idea. I'm just going to tighten these up off camera, and uh, that's it. Job done. Uh, we should be okay. I'll leave it 24 hours for the Loctite to cure, uh, and hopefully she'll hold together. And if it happens again, well, we'll know where to look.